Hello. Everybody. I'm just finding myself on the iPad. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Lisa. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you're feeling better, Lisa. Well, this might make you feel a little bit better, Lisa, because you're our random lucky draw winner. The, um, that just came up. So, for last week's comments. So, when you're back at work, Lisa, I'll drop that off to you. Um, to be in the comment, the draw for next week's. Hi, Julie. Hi, Kerry. Hi, Marnie. Um, just comment and, hi, Karen, and share the video and, um, can go in the draw for next week's. That's no good, Lisa. Just when you're yeah, when you're back, just let me know and I'll drop that off for you. I did have a lovely weekend, Marnie, with Hunter's birthday. Everyone will be pleased to know I'm pretty impressed with Stamp and Seal Plus because that held that box together of. Um, um, cupcakes tremendously which was awesome because when I went to put the box together and it fell apart I'm like Ooh, what are we gonna do because I I'm not one of those people that have loads of Tupperware containers that can hold stuff like that so um, and then you saw how I took the cake to Hunter's party in one of Stamping Up's um, boxes because I really do not have any containers to fit things like that in so anyway stamp and seal plus held up a dream um, so that was good and then I got this card um, this week which was one of the during the severe lockdowns that we had earlier in like March April one of my friends had um, her business was forced to close and she just had um, nothing to do really and was a bit lost because she'd only ever worked full time um so i sent her some of my uh crafting supplies and um she's never really crafted at all but i said hopefully this might occupy some of your time and and stuff and she's made me a card so I love it. So this is her first a card and I love it. So that's what's arrived this week. With a lovely message inside, which was lovely. So um I thought tonight I got my cute fruit stamp set, which is from some of you might be looking at this. Hi Elizabeth. Some of you might be looking at this. Hi Nita. And thinking I haven't seen this in the catalog and you would be right because it's exclusive to the beginner catalog so this is our beginner catalog and it's got a couple of exclusive stamp sets in it but it's also got some stamp sets that are featured in the annual catalog so I thought we'd make a card or two with this so this beginner catalog is aimed at more simple stamping for those beginner stampers but it doesn't mean <laughs> we got the same Fitbit. So does the director at um, the daycare centre, Christy. So <laughs> I think they're pretty popular. This was my Mother's Day present. Um, it's aimed at the beginner stamper, but it doesn't mean that you can't, if you're an avid crafter, um, doesn't mean you can't purchase from it. It's just, if, for those that may not have never, ever seen Stamping Up before, this is a more... Um, Oh, I don't know what to say, a, a smaller brochure to get them 
interested or looking at it um, rather than giving them that this massive catalog um, with 200 odd pages in it and overwhelming them and from personal experience I had a girlfriend um, do just that so I handed her I gave her this catalog I gave her the annual catalog and at the time I gave her the mini um, catalog during celebrations and it was all just too much and it was all too hard and nothing ever eventuated she was so excited and I was excited that she was excited but then I overwhelmed her by giving her too much too quick um, so I've learnt from that as well um, but yeah this beginner brochure is awesome for that um, so there's a couple of things in here that aren't in the catalog so one of them is this four season floral cards so these are like our memories and more cards with a lot of the prints on them and you can buy the whole kit here for eighty dollars and you get everything here or you can just buy the stamp set or you can just buy the cards you don't have to buy the kits like that uh, and then this is what we're using here the cute fruit stamp set hi Marie so that's a bit cute and then the zany zebras is what we used last week this is also in the annual catalog as well hi Sue and then this stamp, Hooray to You, is also in the annual catalogue as well. Hi, Michelle. And then this Simply Citrus kit. And I'm pretty sure this is in the annual catalogue as well. Um, but, yeah, that's an all-inclusive kit that includes everything. And then just some supplies that a beginner stamper will need. So a, tr a trimmer, some snips, the stamp and seal, some glue dots and a chamois to clean your stamps. So there's not a lot of product in there to overwhelm the new person which is great. Um, so I thought I'd just show a, some cards with that stamp set tonight because this is a bit cute. Um, and show a new technique for a card as well. Oh, you're in Rocky Sue. That's a bit exciting. So I wanted to show the all these cards are you. Um, well, I've got two cards ready to go and another card using different supplies. But what I've done is this piece of um, coloured cardstock is four inches by four inches, and then you just cut it. And you can cut it anywhere. You don't have to really measure it. But what you do then on the card is I've got a layering piece underneath which is the normal size of a card layer and I'm going to stamp in this panel here and then pop that up so you have like a recessed panel in there so that's what we're going to do tonight on that I haven't used this stamp set at all so hopefully everyone else had a lovely weekend as well I also um, got to see my stepson's brand new house that he bought on Sunday, which was lovely. So a nice trip up past Caboolture. It was a little bit further than I had anticipated, but it was a nice little trip. And we just had to make sure that we got in the car before the last day of school holiday traffic was going to take forever to get home. Hi Chris. So in this stamp set we have got watermelon, banana, that's a watermelon rind, pineapple and then segments which could be orange, lemon, lime. I've seen some people do pink ones which I'm assuming may be grapefruit. I don't know. And then this little one. I don't know what that is but I've seen people do that in green. So yeah. Lots of little fruits in here. Um, so, I'm thinking that one goes with that because I've not played with this at all or practiced this. So, that matches that. Okay. So, what I was going to do was I've got no scrap paper. Do I? Here's one. Here's a scrap piece I prepared earlier. Oh, my hair's fallen. 
everywhere. So I've got pumpkin pie. Now this is a colour I do not use very often at all. And what I was thinking of doing, so we'll see, and there's two sides to each piece of paper, so we'll see whether this turns out or not, was then going to stamp off. Can't wait to see what you do with this set, as I've been wondering whether to get... I've seen quite a few things with it, Julie, but I don't know, I'm just having a bit of a play. So I'm going to stamp off because you want to get come on, a different tone and I don't want to use a different colour. So then this is called second generation stamping. And because these are photopolymer stamps, you get you can see right through them. So they are quite easy to line up. But if you are a little bit worried about that, you could use a stamper artist and line it up perfectly. All right, so that's that one. Do I want anything else in there? I think I'm gonna do some, do them again and add some Daffodil Delight in between. Uh, to do some like lemon we'll see how this looks you never know until you start having a play I do like the fact I've seen so many people because there's little faces in here. So I've got some ideas about the bananas and we're just going to stamp off again with the lemons. I think the brilliant colour for this would have been that um, pineapple punch. But that's just retired. But this is looking pretty cool. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring my little template in to see whether I've we can add a few more in there. You could have um, done a pencil mark um, to know exactly where to stamp. I'm just eyeing this off because that's how I roll. But So we're kind of making our own DSP here. I remember a few years ago they did bring out a fruit set and it was kind of cool because it did come with DSP. I went through a couple of packets of that DSP because it had little cute strawberries on it. This one doesn't really have strawberries. That was super cute. But I always find that the fruit stamps are always just so bright and cheery. No, are you new? Oh. I think Sue's just visiting Rocky. Um, Glenda? Thanks, Kathy. Did I stamp that off? I was too busy talking, checking messages. 
I've got a, a bit of a headache today, so I'm not thinking it clearly. There we go. So we'll put that away. I'm going to pop these up on dimensionals just to give that added dimension. It's nice and bright. And pumpkin pie, it, orange is my favourite colour, right? I had orange lilies at my wedding. I got married in a blue dress and everyone laughed at me for having blue and orange. And then when, it, when I told them I was having blue and orange, and then on the day, they were all like, it actually works really well. And so my wedding dress is probably maybe Pacific Point colour and orange lily, lilies. And it worked really well. Um, but I do not seem to use um, Pacific Point or pumpkin pie very often at all. So a bit heavy handed on the dimensionals. I probably could use the... Um, the, there's some um, that foam backing now which you could cover the whole lot in because you can cut the foam backing to whatever size you want and you wouldn't be here all day picking off dimensional backings but I don't have that foam backing yet so we're sticking with dimensionals thanks Kerry It was a good day, 15 years ago, I feel really old, a bit more than <coughs> 15 and a bit years ago. Oh, I'm really struggling without nails. So we're going to pop this up. Now I do have, don't know whether I want to add ribbon or not. We don't have any pumpkin pie ribbon, but I did grab the white crinkled seam binding and I do have the pumpkin pie blends. <laughs> I am pretty old today, Chris. I'm feeling very old. For those that don't know, Chris is my mother-in-law. So that's why she's... It was that long, Kerry. I celebrated 15 years in isolation, like on the 26th of March this year. We were in full on lockdown. So we couldn't even go out to dinner or anything. We got KFC instead. So I don't know. I might actually use the yellow. I've got the Daffodil Delight crinkled ribbon here. Do I have the yellow checked ribbon? Um, no. No, that's one of the new ribbons. I don't have too many of the new ones. Let's do who I ran into. Who did you run into? I ran into somebody today too, Kerry. Who did you run into? Did I miss the first bit of that? Our 10th anniversary was this year on Good Friday. Well, we got married on Easter Saturday. Um, Elizabeth so every couple of years it comes back around near Easter but and we actually got married on my mum's birthday and it is Adrian's uncle's birthday so at my wedding we had birthday cake for those two and saying happy birthday to them oh you ran into Chris <laughs> fancy you I ran into my cousin today Went to the post office to drop everybody's class kits off at the post office. Should have been a five minute trip and 40 minute later I was still chatting. Adrian thought I got walk, went walkabout. I did have some, 
sentiment stuff here. No. All right, I think I'm going to have to get a punch, I think. I don't know what punch to use. I'm going to get a punch. Yeah, I'm hoping, um, Elizabeth, I posted them this morning, or this afternoon, so hopefully, because they're their posties going on strike down there, or not doing anything in this lockdown. I think you're one in a melon, even though it's not a melon, I just think it's a bit of a play on words. That's the one I'm going to use. That's funny. <laughs> I haven't told Gary it was at the craft shop. <laughs> she just said it was at a shop. You just dubbed yourself in then, Chris. That's funny. All right. And... Your one in a melon. We'll do that in pumpkin pie. <laughs> Hi, Karen. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it, Elizabeth? It's really, really messy. Now, I saw this trick. somewhere but you kind of flip it back in and I don't think it's too bad some people have marked it on their punches so that they get the exact that's not me I just wing everything so I think I've done pretty well with that um, this is the tailored tag punch for those interested or wondering what I'd used. I think I'm gonna do that and, oh, I was looking for my glue dots and I actually put them back in their holder properly. Surprising, I don't often put things away. All right, put this on a card base. Uh, bone folder and I probably should have tried I'll probably have issues with the stamp and seal because I've got dimensionals and everything going on if you're making this at home I suggest you probably use stamp and seal before you add dimensionals everywhere so that you get even coverage. Oh, nice. You have to show me what you've made, Christine. Then layering that up on the card base. There, that's one card. That didn't turn out too bad. That was a bit in my head. And then this one. Hi, Lana. Now we're going to stamp the sentiment first on this one. I want to see whether this fits. Oh, look at that, plenty of room. And I was a bit worried. Oh, that's. Yeah, so I'm a bit impressed with how that turned out. So that's really easy. You just need like a normal size card layer on that. That one says I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. And then the cardstock piece is four inches by four inches, and then you just cut it any which way you want. 
So that's a bit cute. And then I'm going to try and do Oh, I need I think I need to get my silicon mat. I should have tried this maybe. Because now I want, no, maybe we'll just do the dancing. I need to try the silicon trip. I don't want to do that on video and look like an idiot if I don't get it right. You can do a reverse stamping so that you've got then it stamps that way. But I haven't done it in a long time. And you need a silicon mat for it, which I've got. I just need to practice. So I might leave that for another day to show. So this is the little um, top of the banana. Do, do, do. Oh. And which way does that go? Do you think? Oh, that's cute. So cute. And then what I want to do is do a little face. These faces are super cute. And then I think I'm going to have to freehand the hands and the feet. Hi, huh, Shauna. So I've just got a... I'm going to have to find a mark pen. You can use a... Hi, Sue. I know. Julie, this is what sold me. I saw somebody's card doing like a little dancing man. Hi, Jess. I don't know that I'm going to draw feet because I might get them in the wrong spot. Oh, that's cute. This is, this is what sold me too, Julie. I love him. I love him. Um, still. Oh. There we go. <laughs> B1 and B2. Yes. Well, and that's why I thought I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. So you've got two friendly bananas there. I thought that was just so fitting. And. Um. This piece of yellow, I did cut down to three by three. Um, so that's, it's not four by four like the rest of them. <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think I might need to emboss the background with something. And you can tell I've not prepped anything because I have nothing here. I need some suggestions for an embossing folder, ladies, of what we're not going to finish putting that card together because I think that background needs to be embossed. So some embossing folders that you'd like to see and hopefully I've got them. I've got most of them. So we'll put that one together a bit later once I've worked out what embossing folder I'm going to do. The brick wall, I have that. All right. The subtle, I've got that. 
Oh, I don't, there's no banana leaves on this stamp set, Lana. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Although, da da da, tropical leaves. Let's. That might be all right. That big banana leaf was in a retired set. I can't remember. Because that timeless tropical doesn't have the 36. It's only got that, that's not a banana leaf. What else have we got? Hmm. I don't know. Try the folder that goes with the geisha lady. Oh, I don't have that anymore. Um, Kerry? All right, we'll keep thinking about that, ladies. We'll come back to it. Now with this one, I want to do the watermelon. And I was going to do shaded spruce, but I've got granny apple green. So I'm going to have to have granny apple green watermelon base. Because I don't have any shaded spruce cardstock ready. That's okay. So this one... Maybe I might do it up this way, because the other one's gone that way. And I think it might be easier if I stamp the um, inside first and then stamp the rind around that. And where's my scrap piece of paper again? And because this is a bit of a fuller image, I might actually also get my pierce mat. So with the photopolymer stamps, when you've got a, with the littler images, it's not too bad. But with the, when you get a fuller image like that, you really want to have some cushioning underneath you because there's no cushioning on the actual stamp. What about the subtle with a light colour over the folder before I emboss? That's an idea. Oh, that's very red, isn't it? wonder if we... Oh, it'll tone down, I think. Because that's what you don't want, that bit in the middle that didn't go. And that, I did it again. Do you, uh, no, I don't have the greenery one. That's the only one I don't have. Julie. Just trying to line that up again. I might go over all of them. It's a good colour. The red. I'm going a bit blurry. Why have I gone blurry? Oh, I'm in low battery. Hang on, we'll change the... Hopefully that... Fixes it up. And see how easy it is to line up. I'm not really getting too much of a shadow image here. Um, even though I'm going over twice with the red. Just to get a darker. Now the red will stain your stamps. It's okay. It doesn't really come off. Oh! <gasps> The C 3D seabed. I really like that one. That'll give some nice swirls. So we've got the rind. We need to put that red away before it gets everywhere. Uh, 
Let's line this up. Oh, let's try and fix that stamp up maybe. That's what we'll do. Sometimes with this, because this sta these stamps are a little bit flexible. See how I've gone a bit wide there? What I'll do, I've just wiped all the ink off. And I'm going to line it up here. And this is where sometimes the Stamparatus is good, but you don't need the Stamparatus to do it. Let's just line that up. Then stick your block on. And then we'll be right. Now I need to move that down because it's a bit high up. Oh, it's still done a little bit of a gap. Oh, there's a bit of a gap there. That's all right, let's have a big rind here. We'll line this up and stamp again. It's a bit of a fatter rind, that's all right. Fixed up the mistake. And that red has toned down a little bit now that it's soaked into the paper a bit more. And we need another one down here. So we've got the green already. And then we'll stamp the red. And put that on there. I'm going to stamp that again because everything else has had two coats of it. There we go. And the sentiment this time is going to be wishing you a slice of happiness. And I'm just going to stamp that in the red directly on. Oh, let's have it just there, directly on the Granny Apple Green. All right. Put that away. These go back there. Oh, look at that. That's a bit cute, isn't it? Um, and I've got the red ribbon. So I'm thinking we might stick that there because I have a bit of a smudgy mark there. Right up the top. Hopefully I can still get a bow out of a tiny bit. I may not have cut enough off for a bow in a bit. Hmm. So, oh God. I may need to cut another bit of ribbon. I don't know how I'll be next Monday, ladies. I have my next exam next Monday. See whether I'm a little bit more confident after this one than the last. Oh, look at that. So, and then hopefully I pass and this subject's done because I am over it. <sighs> I'm just going to use the seal to stick the ribbon on to cover that smudgy bit. There. 
and then we will cover in dimensionals again. This one is Tax and Law. Lana. This is the worst subject I have studied yet. I am not enjoying it. Well, now I've just got an extra one. There we go. Now, make sure they're the right way. Oh, the tax isn't so bad, Lana. It's the law. Because to me, it's not even financial planning law. It's like contract law and other stuff. It's not corporations legislation and stuff like that that I now actually know. It's stuff that I don't think you deal with as a financial planner very often, so... Anyway, <laughs> that's because we do have different brains. That's why we work well together, Lana, because we think differently. <laughs> if we thought the same, we wouldn't work very well together, I don't think. Yeah, she, <laughs> Elizabeth, she has been... <laughs> Last time I spoke to your mum, she, she put Alison on. And even Alison didn't know some of the stuff they were asking me. <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn. Uh, it's just... And it's such a dry, boring subject to read and try and retain in your head. That's what I'm struggling with as well, because I can't remember it. There's only so much that can fit in my little brain. All right, oh, and I've done it again. Seal the card before you stick dimensionals on. It doesn't work so well when you're not on flat surfaces. All right, now I've got to hurry up because I'm on low battery. So, do that's that card. I'm going to get an embossing folder to finish this card. got the seabed, the old paper, dainty diamonds, oh I could do dainty diamonds, I quite like that, the scripty, I don't use the scripty very often, I think I'm going to do the scripty, which is not what any of you suggested. So sometimes I don't listen. <gasps> okay. So, scripty, we want the card this way. It's the only thing with this embossing folder. Um, you need to. Make sure you've got your cardstock in the right way. <laughs> well, why ask me? <laughs> I was asking for suggestions, Julie. Whether I take those suggestions is a different story. Just ask my husband. I don't often do what anybody says. Put 
front. Scripty. That on there. Oh, I like that. Do we want some yellow? I feel if I do that, I need more ribbon than for a bow. That's woman's rush. Sure is Allison. Uh, Elizabeth. Look at you now. I'm calling you Allison. Getting confused. Last card. Putting this one together. And we can stick dimensionals on them. Hi Sylvia, it's getting a bit late in NZ isn't it? Alright, now I kind of feel like I want some black bling on that. I don't know whether we've got any black bling. Um, I've got these ones which I think are retired but I'm going to use them because I want black bling so I don't know what these are these were from a little while ago with stamping up where's my pokey tool Oh, good lord, I've lost my pokey tool. Here we go. Make sure I get the black ones. Because those ones look very purpley. I think these were the bling that I actually got free um, from doing a walk on Wall Free as a bonus from doing a walk the stage in on um, Auckland last year at Easter time. Let's finish that card off. Now we need bling on these two. <laughs> these were for these were a little while ago, but I think they go good with this. I don't often use retired stuff, but I do keep my blink because I love it. Hunter's been wearing these as earrings because he likes them. So I need to use them all up before he wants them more as earrings. Because surprisingly, these stick a lot better on your ears than some other things. And the granny apple green ones. So I think I'm on very low battery. So, oh, my stamps are stuck. Don't pack that away with stamps on it. So let's quickly move this mess here and these are the three cards that we made tonight. I really like this recessed panel thing. I've seen a few people do it but I've not 
ever done it in a card and it's super super simple so hopefully you enjoyed the cards tonight everyone and this set is available in the beginners catalog so if you don't have one of those and you don't already have a demonstrator let me know and I can pop one in the post for you but um, if you do it you can just order it and it's 153301 as the, the number so thank you everyone for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next Monday have a good week bye